This is breaking news from 8 News Now. Uh, just confirmed by 8 News Now today, North Las Vegas police investigating after a child was pulled into a man's vehicle at Tropical Breeze Park. I have covered dozens of, of brush fires in Southern California and Northern California through the years. I've never seen so many cars trapped in a fire zone catching fire that it had to be absolutely terrifying yes. for those who were inside their cars with no place to go with the flames and smoke approaching. Let me tell you what's happening right here. Still a lot of activity. There are about 75 members of the media waiting to hear from the police chief of uh, San Bernardino. The woman accused of intentionally running over 30 people with her car on the Las Vegas Strip Sunday night made her first court appearance this morning. One person was killed in that crash and 24-year-old Lakeisha Holloway is facing several charges including murder, Felony hit and run and child abuse. Hey, News Now anchor Paul Johnson, talk to the teacher and some of the students involved. Paul, you know, police responded this morning thinking the teacher was being held hostage, mm. but you know that was not the case. The students were actually trying to protect her, they say, from administrators after she informed them that she was being forced out of her job. We walk in class, the teacher's crying, and we asked her what happened. And she told us everything. First year teacher Tiffany Dickerson told her 10th grade English students that she was being forced out of her job after reporting other teachers making racist remarks about black and Hispanic students. This morning, her students began to cry in class and then became angry. The kids started putting in the chairs and they said, No, we're not going to let her leave. We love her and we want her to stay. She's the only teacher that cares about us. This shot from a cell phone inside the classroom shows chairs stacked against the door. It was the students' attempt to keep administrators and police away. Students locked themselves in the classroom along with the teacher for about 20 minutes. Officers responded. An officer went in, talked to the students. Everybody came out peaceably. Afterwards, students were clearly upset that one of their favorite teachers was leaving the school. She was another parent, honestly. And they're taking her away from us. She's doing her best for us. I met Tiffany Dickerson at her apartment after she'd been sent home by school administrators. She told me exactly what she told her students, that she was being forced out after reporting other teachers repeatedly making racist remarks. They said black and Hispanic students are bringing down the test scores. These they, are teachers. These are actual teachers saying in so many words they act like animals. They pollute the place up. They don't really come to school to learn. Dickerson says the principal tried to reassign her out of the classroom. When she wouldn't agree, she says her only other option was to leave the school. She'll never forget her students' response. They actually um, huddled around me in a circle and uh, they locked in arms and they said, you, you guys are not taking away any more good teachers. You know, and so I, I sat there in the middle and I, I broke down and I started crying. Oh, it was good. It was good knowing that they cared that much for me, that they would go to that extent. And I just sat there in the middle, and I just, I just broke down because I was like, I can't believe it. Now, Dickerson told me the racist comments were made in meetings with about a half a dozen other teachers. She says she actually proposed how to streamline those meetings to help steer away from comments, but she says the principal's only solution was to take her out of her classroom. The school district's response to this, quote, we have looked into the allegations made by that employee and found that they are unsubstantiated. I mean, clearly she made an impact on those kids in such a short amount of time, but did she ever think to herself, maybe I shouldn't reveal what some of these other teachers are saying? You know, I asked her about that, because that's, that's adult kind of business. Right. And alleged racist remarks. She said yes. She was planning on uh, telling them that she had to go back home for a family emergency. But she says when the students began to cry and say in class that we lose all of our good teachers, she said to herself that they need to know, in her words, the reason this is happening, because many times we are forced out. This is breaking news from 8 News Now. And we want to continue our coverage of the, uh, the incident down on the Strip tonight uh, near Flamingo outside Paris and uh, Planet Hollywood uh, tonight. Uh, a, a woman uh, driving an Oldsmobile, plowing into the sidewalk and uh, plowing through more than two dozen people, at least one dead and several critically injured. It sounded like paintballs exploding, so many bodies slamming against the car, Mauricio. The fact that this woman driving the car is said to have left the street twice and gone up on the sidewalk, corrected, gone back on the sidewalk again two times. Is that a dead giveaway that this is intentional or is that to someone who may be completely out of it? Nothing's a, not, do not take anything for granted here. What kind of damage uh, would have occurred to that vehicle if it had plowed through 
two dozen people. It, there'd be some types of front end damage. There'd be different parts of, of, there could be purses or clothing from the people that were struck still on the vehicle. A local car dealership is the drop-off point for this year's Toys for Tots campaign. And if you are generous enough to stop by and drop off a toy, you just might run into someone who looks familiar. Here is yet another example of why Las Vegas is a special kind of place. More than a dozen entertainers dropping off toys at the Cadillac dealership. Everybody wants to know what's in the trunk of the Cadillac. I'm going to show you. It's a toy for the kids, for Toys for Tots. So why don't you do the same thing and go get a toy and bring it down, huh? For the seventh year in a row, the people at Cadillac of Las Vegas are helping the Marine Corps Toys for Tots campaign, collecting toys and raising money for disadvantaged kids. The whole city gets involved. You might recognize this guy. He's Murray Sawchuk, a magician at Planet Hollywood. You know, being an entertainer in this town, you know, if you take a little bit of time out of your day to help a cause, it goes a long way. And that's the beauty of being a celebrity in this town or anywhere. You can really give back by doing, doing a lot or a little. And Robert Nash, otherwise known as the De Niro guy. There's a lot of unfortunate kids out there that don't have families, don't have holidays. You know, some don't have homes, you know. And when it comes to something like this with the Toys for Tots Christmas time, you know, we want to give back to these kids, want to help them out. Last year, Southern Nevadans helped the Marines raise more than 200000 thousand dollars. This year they hope to do even better. For these entertainers, giving back is an even better feeling than the applause they get on stage. Happy holidays! Merry Christmas! Toys for Tots! The Marine Corps started Toys for Tots back in 1947. The very first toy was a handmade doll that was donated. You can drop off toys this year or monetary donations to help brighten Christmas for local children at Las Vegas Cadillac. They're on West Sahara through the 18th of December. Well, if you were up uh, late last night or early this morning, you may have seen snow falling in the valley. Several of our viewers sent in their video of the Christmas Day snowflakes. This is from Coyote Free Tag in Boulder City, getting up close shot of a thin layer of snow landing on the hood of the car. Well, as we head towards the weekend, there's some cold air headed our way. Does that, does that mean there's going to be some snow? Snow on top of the mountain this weekend? Snow this weekend for yep. sure. Maybe as early as tonight. Some homeless teens in Las Vegas got a chance to feast and take in the spirit of the holidays today thanks to a local business that's giving back. You can buy materials uh, for uh, anywhere from 5 to $20, much cheaper than repairs for a broken pipe. Kirsten, I'm so lame that uh, when it gets cold, I never go out and buy that stuff. <laughs> I, I wrap old t-shirts around the pipes.